Mobile City Council approved a $200,000 federal grant today that will help fight crime in one of the city's hotspot areas. Fox News reporter Renee Diles is live at Government Plaza. Joining us with that story. Hi, Renee. Hi, Lanise and Bob. You know, that money will come through the Mobile Housing Board, which manages several housing, public housing communities in the city. Now, at least one of those housing communities is on the police department's crime hotspot list, and the police chief says he wants to beef up police presence in that community. Olivia Lucas says a man was shot on Father's Day not far from her home in the R.V. Taylor housing community. She says it's just one example of rampant crime in the area. The crime is outrageous out here. Like, they really do need the crime, the drugs. It's outrageous. Yeah, so they really do need help. The Mobile City Council approved an agreement with the Mobile Housing Board to pay $207,000 to the police department. That money will provide help in the form of more police protection in the area labeled a crime hotspot. The money is part of an ongoing program through the Mobile Housing Board to reimburse police salaries in public housing communities. Whether we were being reimbursed for the housing board, by the housing board for any of the officers that are in public housing or not, uh, we are still in our mandate and a duty to deal with violent crime in those areas. The chief says while grant money to reimburse his officers' salaries has gone down over the years, crime in this area has been on the rise.